Well, hey there, YouTubers. Uh, I've got for you here uh, kind of a rare find, an MSR Rapid Fire. Um, I found this. It's a 1994 vintage. I found this in a store in Michigan while on vacation. And essentially, all it is is a whisper light that runs off of da -da -da, a canister. Uh, it's the same standard screw-in as all the other um, modern canister stoves, except this one happens to be 19 years old and uh, has never been lit. Look at that. Nice and shiny and clean. Uh, I think it's funny that, um, you know, the new universal whisper light can run off of canister stoves, um, but it, it seems to me to be a lot less quality of construction. This is an old stove. So it's made in the 90s when uh, things were still built pretty well. And you see it's a little different. There's no primer cup. Uh, it's just a light and go kind of stove. So we're going to start it up and uh, see what we got. This is the first time it's been lit. And I can only imagine it's been sitting on that shelf in Michigan um, for you know, the better part of two decades. So here we go. We're just going to turn on the gas. Doing this on my phone here, so I only got one hand. And look at that! Lights right up. Beautiful blue flame, you can adjust it. Up or down. Looks like a very fine control. Put some water on top. Look at that. That's perfect. Perfect runs off the canister. So I've got a lot of experience with whisper lights. I've been using them for years. Um, I believe I've got three. An older one from uh, the 90s, mid 90s. Uh, another one that I use quite extensively. Uh, that, that 90s uh, whisper light, I've never actually used. I'm kind of just keeping it because it's cool, you know. It's old, it's vintage. Um, but uh, gave another one to a friend who could use it more than I because I've already got so many. Uh, and now this one, and I, I think it's cool because this will round out some versatility. Uh, I can I can run the canisters on this one. I'm sure it'll be a lot cleaner. And then the uh, um, white gas and uh, petrol or uh, unleaded gasoline in the other stoves. Uh, so that's pretty neat. That's pretty cool versatility to be able to run a lot of things. And I'm all about versatility. See that cup getting hot there. It looks more red and orange on the video than it does uh, to the eye. But um, I think it's great. I love the fact that I can have a very simple, rugged, time-proven design in uh, a canister stove. These canisters may not always be available, um, but gosh, when they are, they sure are convenient. So let's see what we can do here. It's not even on full blast. Look at that thing heat up. Alright, well that's all. I'm not going to time how long it takes to boil. Um, that's all I got.